In this video, we will create a to-do list by using Vue.js. Here is a sample which we are going to create in the next couple of minutes. So let's see how it works. Here I'm adding the task I need to do. Click on add and here it is added. Let's add another one. And here it is added. Suppose you want to edit it and click on update. Here it is updated. And now suppose you want to delete it. Just click on delete and it will be removed. So this is how our to-do list will work. Now let's go to our editor and see how we can do that using Vue.js. I'm using the CDN version of Vue.js for this tutorial along with Milligram CSS framework and a Google font. So let's start by creating our markup. So here the first thing we are doing is creating a division with ID app which we will use as our Vue.js element. Now inside that let's create a container and now we will add a heading. We will also need input so that the user can write the to-do and click on the add button to submit that. We will add that later. Now let's add the list which will display the to-dos. So here I have added an ordered list and inside that each item is going to loop through the to-dos. Now in order to execute that we need to create our first view instance. You can do that simply by using new view. And here inside the object we can pass the configuration. So here our Vue.js will be using the element id app. Here it is. So this view instance can access and manipulate anything inside this division. Now here we are looping through all the to-dos. So basically to-dos is going to be an array. So let's add that inside data. And let's start by adding some data manually. Now let's save it and let's give it a try in our browser. Here is the output, the h1 tag and the ordered list. So right now we are having two items inside the to-dos list, go to market and buy new codes. Now we will create a form so that the user can add a to-do and click on the add button to add that to-do in our list. So let's add an input here. So here I have added a text input and used the V model to create a two way binding with to do and we need to add this to do inside our data. It's going to be a string. Now after that I am adding a submit button with the value add and when someone clicks on that it will execute the method. stored to do. So now after the data part we will add the methods. 
So our first method is going to be stored to do. So what we are doing here is when someone clicks on the add button after adding some data inside this input field then in that case it will just take that value and push into the to do's array. Let's give it a try. Here is the output. Now let's add something. Here it is added. So this is how we can use an input and bind it with some data and when the user click on the add button we can execute a method and push that value inside our to do's array. However there is one issue we need to remove this value after the value is being added into our array. Now let's get back to our ID again and fix this thing. So inside the store to do method once the value is added into the array all we can do is set the to do to an empty string. In this way when the value is submitted it will just become empty after that. Now we need to be able to edit or delete our to do item. In that case what we can do is add two buttons here. So here we have added two buttons. The first one is edit which will execute the edit to do method when we click on that and the next one is delete. We also need to pass the index as well as the to do item inside the edit to do method. So let's add that. Now we can access the to do but what will be the value of index? We can do that simply so we can add index like this inside a loop by using v4 so now we can pass index just like the edit to do method we need to pass index to the delete to do method also so here both the methods are added now we need to add it inside our methods so what we are doing inside the edit to do method is we are setting the value of to do to the to do inside our data so now when someone click on edit to do then it will get the to do of that specific list item and place that value inside our text input. Now there is two different things we need to take care of. The first thing is this form is going to execute the store to do method once the user fill the value of to do. However when we are going to edit then in that case we need to perform the update task. So let's divide this into two part by using the v if. So here we have divided our form into two parts. The first one is if is editing is set to true then in that case it will display sorry let me just fix this. If the is editing is false then in that case it will display the form to add a new to do item. 
However, if is editing is true, then in that case, it will display the form to update a specific to do item. Now we need to up add the method inside our methods object update to do. So when the user fill up the to do and click on the update button, then in that case we need to get the index of which to do item the user wants to update. So we need to pass the edit to do methods index argument from here to here. So how we can do that? In that case we need to add another variable inside our data and that will be selected index which we will set to null and when the user click on the edit button of any specific to do then in that case we will set the index to selected index and also we will make sure that the is editing is set to true. So we need to add that inside our data also. By default the is editing will be false. So here we have added two new data is editing and selected index. Is editing is of type boolean which is set to false and selected index is by default null. So our edit to do method is done. Now once the user click on update to do then in that case what we will do is we will use the splice method of javascript array. So what we are doing here is we are doing splice this dot selected index. So the first thing it will do is select the index of which to do item the user has clicked the edit button. After that it will remove one item. So this particular index item will be removed and one new item will be added in place of that index and it will be this dot to do which the user is currently editing. So this is the purpose of update to do. Once the update process is done, we will set the is editing to false again. So this was all about the edit and update task. Now we need to add the method delete to do. Again we will be using the splice method of JavaScript array. So here what we are doing is passing the index and setting it to 1. That means it will remove a single item from an array with this index. Now let's save it and give it a try. So here is the output. Now let's click on edit button. Here we can see by new course we are getting this value in our form and the add button is replaced with the update button because of the if statement block. Now let's update it. Now once we click on update here it is updated. Now we need to take care of one thing again once the user has updated the value we need to set this dot to do equals to empty string again so we can get rid of this issue now let's add one more item here the store method is working perfectly and the last one is the delete method here it is working so this is how we can create a full-featured to-do list by using Vue.js.